Hello, and welcome to the Gymnastics Network. I am your host, Isaac Hammett. Uh, Cannon. And today we are covering the postgame show for Minnesota versus Ohio State. Ohio State took the dub. Minnesota did not. But it was a really interesting matchup regardless, and it was a great way to watch Minnesota get their feet wet for the first time. Um, jumping into the floor. Uh, for the floor exercise, we're going to be looking at Jesse Tyndall. Uh, very proficient gymnast on the floor. Uh, you've seen him before in pregame shows and postgame shows. You're going to keep hearing about Jesse Tyndall on the floor exercise. He put up a 14.2 for Ohio State. Uh, and in second place, we have Colton D from Minnesota putting up a 14.05. And in third, we have freshman Cameron Nelson from Ohio State putting up a 13.95. So overall, some really good scores and some good variation in uh, – the placings uh, over this weekend for the floor. Uh, taking a look at the event overview for floor exercise, we see Ohio State had put up a 69.0, very good floor score for them, and Minnesota had put up a 65.25. Going into pommel horse here, we have Justin Chow. Justin put it down this weekend on pommel horse to say the least, putting up a 13.75. Nice scissor work, uh, scissor to handstand there, and then. Uh, Nice circle pickup work from him. Second place, we have Henry Meeker from Minnesota. And in third place from OSU, we have Trevor Cummings. So a lot of good work coming out of OSU on horse. Um, usually that's not their strongest point, but they're really picking it up this year. You can see it right here. Justin's Justin. amplitude. Uh, it looks amazing. You know, Maggie Arcevato flared. Not a lot of guys are doing that, and he's doing it well. Moving into event overview for Pommel horse, you see OSU put up a 63.25 and Minnesota put up a 60.4. You know, there leaves a lot of room on the table for both teams. You know, I'm sure both of them want to do better on their horse rotations. You know, they can probably both as a team get up to about a 65. So it's going to be interesting to see what they do in their next up competitions. Yep. Next up, we're going to be looking at Angel Leone. So Angel Leone starts at a 14.9. So we got 1.2 off for this routine which is very clean, very big ring score for them. Uh, rounded off in the, the first, second, and third spot is all Ohio State. So Ohio State was really putting it down on rings. Sweeping. Yeah, so uh, Minnesota's uh, strongest event is not the rings. Uh, that's definitely an event that they're looking to improve on, so uh, not surprised to see that. But uh, just a quick overview of the standings. We have in first place Angel Leon, who you're looking at right now with the 13.7. Donovan Hewitt. Uh, from Ohio with a 13.45, and Jesse Tyndall tied him uh, with a 13.45. So very good stuff coming out of Ohio State on the rings as we're going to be uh, finishing up uh, Angel Leon's routine right here. Yeah, Angel uh, did a really good routine here. A lot of clean handstands. I don't see any large form deductions at all. Everything looks smooth and fluid. That's what you want. Good holds on all of his stuff, and then a nice double-double. Double-double. Putting it down. Yep, looking at the event overview, Ohio State had put up a 66.95 on rings, where Minnesota had put up a 64.3. Heading into the vault. Going into the vault here, we have Mr. Mike Moran. He was with us last week on some interviews. Really great guy. Nice to get to know him. One of Cannon's buds. He does an amazing um, Kazamatsu, two and a half. Sticks only. Getting there, getting there. Small hop, small hop, but we're excited to see what he can do the next week. I'm sure he's going to get the stick. This is Angel Leon. Nice double front with a small hop. Big vault coming out of OSU there. <clears throat> Rotation four, ending. Putting up a 70.9 from OSU on vault and a 70.45 for Minnesota on vault. So Minnesota is doing a really good job on vault. You know, they struggled a little bit on horse, but they killed it over on vault. Also, OSU's score on vault is tied with Penn State for this weekend. So definitely when they go head-to-head, -head, it's going to be a vault matchup. It'll be fun to watch. Yeah, heading into the PRs, we're going to be looking at Angel Leone. So we just saw his double front on vault, which is absolutely massive. And now we're going to be looking at a sick routine from him. He put up a 13.95 this weekend, which gave him first place honors. In second place, he has a teammate that we've hear heard a lot from this uh, this today. Uh, Jesse Tyndall, who put up a 13.75. And in third place, we had uh, fellow uh, interviewee, Crew Bold, 
put up a 13.65. What's a Buckeye for? Yep, for Minnesota. <laughs> yeah, but that was a uh, that was really good banter. Uh, crew, uh, if you don't remember from that interview, he uh, said, uh, "What's a Buckeye?" And uh, you know they ended up falling to the Buckeye. So, uh, you know, that's what happened. You talk trash, you know. You got to be uh, ready to back it up, and uh, Minnesota just wasn't ready this time. But uh, looking at the event overview, uh, Ohio State had put up a 68.4, while Minnesota had put up a 65.0. So Ohio State has bested them on every event so far. So they uh, they definitely did not want to go out like that with what's a Buckeye. They wanted to make sure Minnesota knew what a Buckeye was. Yeah, you saw Alec Yoder's video after that that came out, used our audio. You know, shout out Alec Yoder. Moving into high bar here. Number one spot, Minnesota, Victor Perez putting up a 13.05. Right behind him, Jesse Tindall putting up a 12.8. And uh, Kazuki Hayashi from OSU put up a 12.85. Uh, I think the rotation for OSU on high bar was a little bit rough for them. Uh, high bar is one of their better events, but they do a lot of high-flying releases and um, really high start value routines. So sometimes if the execution's not there, you know, it could be a struggle, but they were, they were walking away with this meet for, with the bag after P-Bars, so um, I think they were just kind of going all out, having a good time. But this is a great routine from Victor Perez from Minnesota. He's a great high bar worker. We're really excited to see some of the other stuff that he can do come later into the season, and I think even Crew brought him up in the pregame show, you know, telling us, hey, watch out for Victor. The kid's putting it down on high bar. At least mentioned to us uh, privately that uh, he's going to be killing it on some of the other events as well. I believe so. So moving into rotation six here, you see up OSU put up a 62.55. Not super characteristic from OSU. We've seen them score a lot higher on, on high bar for sure. And then from Minnesota, 61.85. So a good meet from both guys overall. We're really excited to see what they can do in the upcoming weeks once they get a little bit more uh, competing under their belts. OSU, I think, has three meets so far, but this was Minnesota's first meet. So <clears throat> we're really excited to see what's coming up in the next couple of weeks. Uh, if you do catch this video in before Thursday, uh, we're doing some stuff tomorrow during at a live stream uh, around five or six o'clock. Uh, we're doing an add-on game with uh, two Penn State gymnasts, and we're debuting some of our new overlays and some stuff that we've been working on. So if you end up catching the end of that, that'd be great to see you there. Uh, it'll be streaming on YouTube and on Twitch. So thank you. Peace.